What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Elamar Dishe, and I'm back with another one. We are gonna call this video series The Elamar Dishe Show. Because if you're watching this and you've been tapping in with me, you've been able to see the little bit of progress that I've made in these last couple months, right? We're getting there. And what is the end goal with this YouTube series? Um, to eventually make my own TV show. Not an actual TV show that's gonna like go on like Lifetime or TLC or something like that. Nah, this is gonna be just like an internet TV show because I'm too real for goddamn uh, media. All right, they'll cancel my ass after the goddamn first episode. All right, we, we both know that because I'm gonna tell how the fuck it is. And I ain't gonna sugarcoat a motherfucking thing, but a funnel cake. All right, let's go. So, this video is five reasons why I'm personally not ready for a relationship. Why did I come up with this topic? Uh, because I see everybody is fucking in these popcorn ass relationships where they jump from one person to one person, then they have a kid with this person, and then they fuck around and move on to the next person. I don't really get down like that. It's not my thing. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I'm 24, and I've only had one situationship, <laughs> okay? It was one situationship. Wasn't even a fucking real relationship. It was more or less like two broken people. I was one of them, she was the other one. Entertaining each other for like fucking two and a half years and it eventually led with me getting hurt and her going and dating and fucking one of my old homeboys. It is what it is. You know, that's just kind of how shit happens. Um, but this are, these are five reasons that I came up with that I know me, Elamar Deshay, who's 24, living in goddamn Dallas, Texas right now, is not ready for a relationship. Step number one, financially, I ain't got my shit together, y'all. I'm still fucking trying. All right, this life shit is a motherfucker. I don't know how all you Instagram millionaires got rich goddamn so goddamn fast, but I ain't found the secret yet. All right, first of all, I'm not getting in a relationship until I figured out how to exit the nine to five rat race, all right? Until I figured out a hustle, a way to goddamn monetize my talent, my personality, I'm not entertaining no relationships. Because I'll be damned if you come home at night and you get on top of me and call me daddy, and then the next day you gotta go to your work daddy and ask him for a break. Fuck all that, fuck all that, all right? So I still got financial goals, I'm not saying I got to have millions of dollars to get in a relationship, but I need to be more alone than I am currently. All right, so that's reason number one. Financially, I'm not where I need to be yet to be in a fucking relationship. All right, number two. These are in no particular order. I'm just, I got them wrote on one of my many whiteboards. As you can see, I got one in the background. My mind is like fucking all over the place, so I got to have whiteboards to keep me fucking calm down. All right, number two. I still need to go to fucking therapy, y'all. Fuck. There are, there's some shit that happened in my childhood that I'm not still mad about, but I am still haven't came to terms with how it affects me. Because I know what I've learned about the brain and, like, the, the, the mind, body, whatever, is when, when you go through something at a certain age, you can become, like, emotionally trapped there. Right? So let's say, for example, I went through something when I was 10 and I never healed from that. I can still be in a almost 10 year old emotional state, a hurt 10 year old. You know what I'm saying? I believe, don't quote me on this. I ain't no goddamn psychologist now, so don't get in the fucking comments, crucify me. All right? So, number two, I need to go to fucking therapy. Um, I need to talk to somebody. Not that I'm fucked up, but there's still, just because. Just because the scars have healed doesn't mean that they're still not there. You see what I'm saying? So, number two, I need to go to fucking therapy. I need some healing to do. I still need some goddamn self-love, all right? Number three, I have not went through my motherfucking complete host stage just yet. All right, when I say host stage, I'm not like trying to run through these broads like it's a goddamn train. All right, I never got down like that. I was never the type of person that just felt the need to have like multiple, multiple fucking side pieces. You know, couple, ain't nothing wrong with a couple. You know what I'm saying? I look at it, it's just like 
when you're eating dinner. You don't just eat one goddamn meal at a t- one thing at a time. You got to have a couple sides, right? You got mashed potatoes. You got fucking corn. You don't just eat fucking just baked chicken by itself with nothing on the side. So there's still some things on my sexual bucket list that I got to fucking knock off before I decide to commit to one person. Unless I can find somebody who's a goddamn super freak and she want to knock all these things off my bucket list with me. If I find that, then shit, I'm going to lock something up. All right? Like Akon said. You can't lock me up. I'm like, I don't even know what fucking song that is. Number four. I'm still learning who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, this move to Dallas has helped me figure out a lot about myself, but I still got a lot of fucking learning to do. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm the shit. I know I'm a nice looking motherfucker, but there's still a lot about Elamar that Elamar is trying to figure the fuck out. So I don't think it's fair for me to get with somebody. And one, I'm not on my shit financially. Two, I still got fucking trauma that I'm not over. Three, I haven't went through my whole stage. And four, I'm still figuring out who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? Number five, this is the most important reason why I will not get in a relationship right now. I do not know what it takes to maintain a relationship. I don't even know what like characteristics really make a good relationship. I've never seen one. To this day, y'all, I don't know any fucking successful relationship, marriage, whatever you want to call it. Since the time I was a kid, all everybody who was together or married when I was a child, are split the fuck up now, right? I know more goddamn broken relationships than a goddamn prostitute knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I've never seen anybody who's been in a successful, happy, loving, lasting relationship. So I don't know what the fuck that takes. All I do know and what I've learned is that when you're with somebody, you either grow together in the same direction or you grow apart, right? Right? You either grow together or you grow apart. I'm still figuring out who the fuck I am. I'm trying to get my bag right. I'm not done being a hoe. And I don't even know what the fuck it takes to maintain a relationship. And I'm still learning who the fuck I am. So those are my five reasons. Five reasons why Elamar Deshay will not get into no relationship with none of you broads. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.